and we are going to just move desks. I'm going to ask you to move some desks in place, okay? So, here's the direction. We're going to sit back down in a moment, and I'm going to ask the teacher some questions about what's happening here. But then I'm going to ask you to move the desks. Ready for that? Okay, so just have a seat right here. Come on in. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. We're going to talk about what we got. So, this is a pretty traditional way that we have a classroom set up. True? Discussion up here, and I ask for an answer, and I point to this young lady, and she stands up, and she provides an answer. Who can hear her? Everyone. Everyone. Great. True? Okay, sit down. This young man has an answer. Where is he going to look? Is he going to look at me or the class? Probably. He's going to look at me, the teacher. Now, stand up. Put sit down. Where are you going? Stand up. Uh, who can hear him now? Can you really hear him back there? Yeah. No. Probably not. If you want him to talk to the whole class, how can I get him to do it? What is his suggestion? Do what? So he could speak louder, but I, I'm going to be realistic. I doubt that it, I'm hearing a lot of noise. I don't think anyone's going to hear him do that. How about the teachers? Hang on one second. I could ask him to face the class. He might. And it's a hard thing to do because I'm the... Do you? Yeah. Okay. What's another way I can do it without even asking him? You can walk around. Oh. Where can I walk to? And where will he probably face? You, you. I can pretty much guarantee you from the thousands of classrooms I've been in and adults I've worked with and children, they're all going to face the facilitator. He would probably turn around and now talk to the whole room. I doubt he's going to talk to the chalkboard. 